What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Lockdown Career Mode, it's episode number 61 and today we are returning with a massive double header with Nottingham Forest on the back of our victory over Brentford where Mason Watson was of course red card. We've got one of the biggest games of the series let alone the season as we kick off with a trip to Anfield away against Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool in a battle for the title and then in midweek we've got Spurs at home and we'll also see the draw for the FA Cup fourth round as well. We might also make a signing as well so Tons of stuff to get through. Two big games today. You know the saying. Let's just get straight to it. And we're actually starting off with a huge bid for Ben Chilwell. Manchester United want to take our left back for £54.4 million. But as I said in the last episode, I'm not selling anyone. I'm not making changes to this squad. We're in amazing form right now. He's one of the best left backs in the world. And Ben is staying right here. Hands off, Ollie. He's ours. And just before the Liverpool game as well, we see the tournament prize money email. So the FA Cup fourth round draw has now been made where Nottingham Forest will be taking on... Dun, dun, dun. Wait for it. Preston North End away at Deepdale, the championship side in the fourth round. Bring them on. So first of the big double header, and it is indeed the league leaders and champions Liverpool away at Anfield. Right now we're five points behind Klopp's side with 16 games to go. And whilst all we're really worried about is the top four, I'd love to stay in a title race this season. If we're going to do that, we need to win this game here. First of the big double header, Liverpool away at Anfield. Beat Liverpool in the reverse fixture. That's one of their only three defeats in the Premier League this season. And that's one of the two scouts we claimed. Of course, we beat Chelsea earlier on this year as well. In fact, did we beat Spurs? I think we might have been Spurs as well, come to think about it. So, you know, we're now starting to show we can beat the big boys. I mean, we've got a really good team, let's be honest here. Lots of players in the mid to high 80s for overalls and the low 80s as well. So, it shouldn't come as that much of a surprise. But today's going to be a real challenge without Mason Watson, the captain, the rock, the boulder, as Samba makes a save at the near post. Yeah, Dale Fry today, he's going to have his hands full. Fry, while he's clear to James. And if we go to right-hand side there, Saka is away. Because LaRucci was pushed up so high. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Those are the chance you've got to take, man. Come on. I swear dribbling out of control happens so often nowadays for me. I don't really know why. As well as Virgil van Dijk is now playing left wing for Liverpool. And that's a good delivery. And Chilwell does well. And Bamba and James will clear... No, they won't, but Samba makes the save. Still 0-0, 90 minutes in. Definitely goals today, no question. Saka out wide, plays it back into James. And his pass is cut out as Liverpool shall clear. Still 0-0, half an hour in. But both teams have played pretty well so far as Dale is beaten by Bellotti. And Rabiot slides through Sal. It's a brilliant ball. It's a brilliant finish. It's a brilliant goal. Well, deadlock broken. It's the Egyptian who fires Liverpool in front. That was an amazing through ball and a clinical finish. I mentioned it before with the AI. All they need is just one little bit of an opening. Once Bellotti got round Dale Fry, rolled it across to Rabiot. Tomori comes out to meet him, but Salah just gets in behind Ben. And a through ball so perfectly waiting. I said before as well, you know, those are the goals I have no issue with. And I'm glad to concede them in a weird way as well, because that's what ultimate should be like. You get punished for a mistake and no sort of perfectly weighted, perfectly threaded, perfectly timed through balls are what you want to see happen to you. Don't make our teams just completely inferior. Make the AI better with their play style and their punishment. Punish us. Make us learn. You know, that's how ultimate should be. Not being ridiculously underpowered against a team that is simply impossible to beat at times. That's that's more like it. We want to see that sort of stuff as Liverpool continue to look for a second goal here. Odegaard back kills to Rabiot and here they come again. Just outside the area. Dale closes him down, though. And we should get the danger away. Five minutes to go in half. We've done okay, though, in this first half. We're still firmly in this. As Liao's away. Oh, I love him. Yes. I absolutely love him. Rafael Liao does it again. And it's goal number 13 for the season. Turns Joe Gomez. Beats him. And beats Allison at the near post as well. Nottingham Forest back on level terms. And what a surprise is our top scorer of another right before the break. I love this guy. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. Bamba on the turn. Looking to whip it out wide there for Origi to chase. But he keeps that ball in play there. He can flick it over the head of Van Dijk to Saka. Ah, oh, it was working so well in my mind. But sadly, 
It didn't work out in practice. Still, half-time, 1-1, and a great first half here at Anfield. And I do see a winner as well. I don't see the score remaining like this. I think someone is going to claim a huge three points. You could cut the tension with a knife here at Anfield. You really could, because both teams cannot afford a loss here. There's Odegaard on the turn. Pokes it through to Salah. Mark up in the middle. Odegaard controls. Salah's offside. And the flag is up and fine. The referee realised that, yeah, half an hour ago, neither side can afford a loss in this game. Mate. You know, Liverpool losing their grip on the lead at the top. And us, if we lose, we're out of the title race, I'd say, with 15 games to go. Such a big half an hour here. Harit off the bench for Liverpool. Watch the through ball. Belotti. Oh, Samba did well to push that over the bar and behind for a corner. Shot with so much power there. But still 1-1. And I think, I think the Reds are going for it as well. A draw wouldn't be a bad result for them. Top of the table. But that'll be their first draw of the season as well. As Salah's shot is well saved by Samba again. You can tell now. They're up in the intensity. They're going for the W. Divock controls and pokes it through to Ajeri. And away we go on the break here from a corner. Bamba. Origi. Bamba. Origi. Oh, Joe Gomez, huge interception. I can see someone nicking this right at the death. Cash coming forward, looking to roll through Bakayo Saka, who's in behind Larucci and Saka. Going to be harder to angle his run here and dink it in. Oh, Nigeria. Oh, Ovi. How fitting would it be if Nigeria comes back to Anfield to bag the winner for us? Totally lost his bearings, didn't he? Well, in the end, I was wrong, but I don't really mind being wrong. 1-1 one, one to final score. Liverpool's first draw of the Premier League season. A share of the points. The right result, I think. And it means we stay in a title race. I'll take that. What are these stats about? I mean, really? That... This... I mean... Okay. I, I think I've... Uh, that... What? No. I don't think that's right. We definitely recorded more than one shot today. To be fair, our build-ups were really good. It's just the final ball was lacking. But man, the match to Leal for once again getting a big goal that gave us the point. I love this guy to pieces. So moving swiftly on as we return back home for another big one. Jose Mourinho spurs at the city ground. Right now in 10th place. Not having a great season, but for us, with Manchester United breathing down our necks. Only two points behind us in 5th place. Same with Chelsea as well. We will need to win this game if we are to stay in the top four. So another huge clash here. Spurs at home where we need to return to winning ways. It's a very interesting Spurs team, isn't it? You know, it's always very interesting as the years go by in FIFA career mode watching what the AI manager does to a certain club. Obviously, as we know, transfers at times in FIFA career mode can be totally arbitrary and, uh, and random. But Spurs' side is a, is a very interesting one. And again, right now in 10th place, if they have to have any chance of getting themselves into contention for a top four place, these are the games they'll need to win. There's not many remaining if they're to kick on and challenge for the Champions League. But for us, again, I think only a win will keep us in fourth. Ali on the run for Spurs, poking it out wide to Cucurella with Matty Cash coming across to meet him. Still 0-0, 25 to 10. Slow start to the game this one. Neither team at the moment yet to create anything. Been very poor, but as Origi looks to find Marco, his pass is cut out. And Marco's hobbling a bit as well. Just notice that. Still 0-0. And again, there's very little going on here. I don't think a point will be a bad result for either team in the grand scheme of things, but... I also feel like a win is what both teams really need, if that makes sense. There's Rafael Liao's two red shirts out wide. One is Jonathan Bamba. The other is Ben Chilwell, who is closed down by Balde. I'll chip it over the top to Ben. Lovely first touch. Marco's with him, as is Liao. And it's a great save by Lloris. And Tarkowski turns behind. First shot of the game. Good stop by the Frenchman. Still 0-0. A game of few chances, this one, I think. If we get a really good one again, we've got to make sure we put it in. So Soko to Ali. Lovely ball through. And there's the goal. Lovely finish by Richard. Samba gets a touch but can't keep it out. Spurs in front right before the break. 45 minutes away from yet another loss at home in the Premier League this season. Young Ronell Richards with the goal. But yeah, that would be three defeats at home in the Premier League this season already. And I check the scores of the break. Manchester United are losing in the derby. But Chelsea are in front by three goals to nil right now. So that means that we will drop to fifth place come the end of 90 minutes. Unless we can turn this game on its head. 45 minutes. A point's not a bad result. But that's the minimum we need here. A loss will be devastating. Spurs looking for a second, which they could get right here. Deli Ali plays it across. Sissoko's pass really well cut out by Watson there in the nick of time. And now... Oh, it's got... Oh, no! Jason Denea, huge interception himself. 
corner for Spurs. They look for the dagger and oh well who would have been fitting our Jao Carvalho, our former midfielder provided it. He's back on the ball. It's a great delivery and he might not get the goal but he's got the assist. There's the dagger. It's over. Bergwijn heads home. Spurs will keep themselves in the hunt for a European place but for us we're dropping to fifth. Wonderful ball by Carvalho. That's what he did for us for a couple of times for a couple of seasons and Bergwijn could not miss. 2-0, it's game over. I'm being honest, I can't have any complaints either. Forget the form, but Spurs today rocked up and were the better team by quite some distance. They deserved this. Unlike the Liverpool game where I feel that like the stats were deceptive, today we were beaten by the better team. Absolutely no denying it. It was so hard to stop them tonight. And as you see the scores there, despite Manchester United's defeat at Old Trafford, Chelsea's victory does mean now with 14 games to go, we drop out of the Champions League places. It can be so hard to break up the top four in FIFA career mode this year due to the ridiculous AI form at times. But unfortunately, if we're going to get the Champions League, we need to get back in it. Dropping out by a point, 14 games to go, still time, but a bit worried, I must say. And I also feel that with £5 million remaining in the budget right now, we could do with a player that's got Champions League experience and a player that knows how to get in the top four, stay in the top four and do things on the big stage. And I know exactly what player I want, man. I know exactly who I want. Oh, yes, his deal is up at the end of the year, now 32 years old. But I'm such a huge fan of the Liverpool captain. Jordan Henson with a high, high work rate. He's done it all at Liverpool now. And I think he wants a fresh challenge for his final few years in professional football. You know I love the high, high work rates. You know I love the 87 stamina. Great technical ability and the leadership and team player traits as well. This is my sort of player. And I think this is what we're lacking. Experience in the big competitions, on the biggest stages. Jordan Henderson, come to Forest. At times, I feel like our team is just a little bit too young and a little bit too inexperienced. And if we are to break up the top four, if we are to be a Champions League side, we need players that have played in the competition. We need players that have done that sort of stuff, won trophies, won silverware. And Jordan Henderson is the absolute ideal fit for this team. For the middle of the park, quite versatile. Again, those high, high work rates, high stamina, is still technically a really good player as well. And if he comes to Nottingham Forest as a mentor for the young players, providing that valuable experience that we're lacking right now, that will be huge. I think he'll be willing to take a pay cut as well to come here to the city ground for his final few years in professional football. And he will indeed. Jordan Henderson, welcome to the city ground. We've been lacking these sort of players, experienced players, and great mentors for the young lads. And that will end today's episode of the Lockdown Career Mode as well, guys. So a massive thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you did enjoy today's episode, then please do drop a like. Much love to you all. And I'll see you for the next episode featuring three massive games in our free domestic competitions. Arsenal away at the Emirates Stadium, the FA Cup fourth round, and of course the second leg of our Carabao Cup semi-final against Manchester City very soon.